Hey guys, it's 1,028. We're doing legs and shoulders. Oh, that's so funny. I don't know why I randomly thought of that French 6-9 uh, song today. Yeah. I just love it because people probably mean these guys are, these French guys are idiots. But no, we're, we put it on for now. That was a good time, man. Yeah, it was. It's, that's kind of crazy to think it wasn't even really that long ago. Like five years? Oh, really? yeah, five years. I'm thinking. Because yeah, I think it was came so up five years ago, so. <laughs> That was so much fun. Oh yeah, man. Wait a minute. Then we did the the three person uh um like well, like I was I was on the shoulders of you and oh yeah that was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. As long as you got impressed if you can even do it. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know how much you oh, weighed then. Body weights. But I was like 150. You're probably. What would you guess? How much you weighed? 180. Then? Yeah, he's like fucking. That's yeah. 300, 300 something. 330 pounds on his shoulders. It's been a while. <laughs> I couldn't do that. He, he probably only weighed like 160 at that point. Yeah. I can't imagine he looked like. It's pretty impressive. Like my. Especially the height of the yeah. whole thing. Du yeah, double your body weight. Like, more than double your body weight on his shoulders. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> I thought my phone called for a second. Like, fuck. Quite a bit since when I came out, and I feel like uh, 
Now I'm probably a lot more accepting of it. Whereas before I was like 23 and I'm like, yeah, so good. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I don't know. So we'll see. And I think I think I, I just hope I get some good positive feelings from it. <laughs> Find me some more earrings, though. Oh, no, no more earrings. Oh, I can't look soy anymore. <laughs> Chance of those. Yeah, I guess so. Down in the air. <laughs> I guess so. Because, like, what options did we have the last one? I <laughs> we know. didn't really have any good options. No, I know. You see what's funny for that one? Yeah. It's obviously not that many people do. No, I know. <laughs> Are you supposed to put my phone on top? Oh, on top? Yeah, yeah. sorry. It's full of gas. Gas? Not the good kind of gassy either. Not like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Suck. I, might need to get, I forgot about it. I might need to get CPR certified again. Oh, yeah. oh shit, that kind of sucks. But that's just like a weekend or something, right? Like, it's not good. You know, just one weekend thing. Yeah, I forgot about that. Because, like, honestly, though, I think it's so bad. I probably shouldn't say this. But even after CPR certification, if something happened, it's not like I feel like, wow, I could really help yeah, this person. Yeah. I'm that's like, true. oh. Sure, sure, it's whatever, so I did. I, I practiced on the dummy. Like I don't know. Yeah. Oh my 
Yeah. Now we can do more school. With all of We all do lunges. Oh. Um, you guys need to do this. Yeah. Hey, lunges still suck though. No. Oh. <laughs> we can never win. Yeah. Oh, Al, I'm gonna grab that 25. sofa in here so I can sleep. <laughs> yeah. so, fuck. Oh man. I'm actually curious about those leg extension machines. Yeah. The only problem dude is room man. Where would you even put it? I know it's gonna be shitty quick. Any you need to update about that property you're interested in? Um, yeah, I just gotta figure out... I don't know, I think I might... Maybe try to find like another house I'm interested in and then fly there and... Take care check, of them, check them both out. Yeah, that's smart. Do you think you're interested in that area in particular? Like, or would the house be somewhere else? Maybe? Man, I was looking at the area, it's great because there's so much shit around. I didn't know like the Daytona 500 race track is right there. Yeah, that was cool. And it's like a big like NASCAR thingy. Yeah, man. And they got like museums and shit all around. Well, let's be real, whoever likes NASCAR is kind of a weird thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a man. Look at this car, it goes fast. <laughs> wow, that's really fast this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like so crazy, like, everything is so close. Like that thing's seven minutes away. Yeah, that's good. So it's like everything's close. Yeah, man. It's probably a happening area too, I guess. Yeah. The only thing is, I know there's oh that area. The rent's not like super high. It's like lower. Okay. On the lower end, it's like I'd probably just like break even. Which yeah. is Still good. Um. There's another area I'm gonna look at. It's like. Um, it's not as old as that area, because that's the thing, it's like, the area I'm looking at, it's, it was like established like a long time ago, so there's like more things around, but it's not like modern looking, so there's another place that's more modern looking, but then it doesn't have as much stuff there, yeah. it's only has like a Walmart or whatever, mm. nothing crazy, so it's like a trade-off, I gotta see. Yeah, check it out. It's like the house is not bad. I feel like the washroom's a bit like kind of like overdone a bit. Oh, okay. But that's good though. Oh, I'll see. What are you thinking? Of? Moving there mostly or renting? Um. Cause I think I kind of wonder about how many rental properties can you have like uh, where it would like not really impede your ability to kind of move it yourself. Yeah. I'm thinking I could uh, maybe stay there for a month and see how I like it. Yeah, that's fair. And then if I really like it, then I'll stay there. And then I feel like I'm not like the most fond of it, then I'll just rent it out. I could probably do that. You have like 10 rental properties and you still live here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you rent it out. I, I get it, man. Yeah, you want to make sure. That's fair. But being near the beach has got to be great. But yeah, it's five minutes away. That's so awesome. cool. I can't even like do like jogs there easily. Yeah. Maybe too hot to jog though. I love jogs. Those sleds. 
You think you'll finally get ass? Yeah. I'm just joking all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but man, the beach is nice. It's got that like pier, huge deck and stuff. And cool. like, restaurants. Yeah. I was looking at pictures of the ocean. Like, whoa, big wave. Yeah, big wave. <laughs> Much yeah, dangerous. Yeah, I didn't know Daytona was in Florida. I didn't know yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I didn't know. I don't know, like, for some reason, that for me, like, Daytona kind of sounds like maybe somewhere in, like, the Midwest or something. Yeah, like, you know, Daytona. But I guess, like, Texas is pretty southern, too, so that kind of makes yeah. sense. I don't know. But, yeah. Well, yeah, I think how far is it from Miami? Is it quite far? Oh, yeah. I don't care so I want to see the end of the day. Like, like if you go somewhere yeah. nice and it's like, and the thing about Miami, it is kind of that big tourist it's, trappy. It's so like, cr- man, did you see the videos of like the spring break that happened recently? No, what happened? Dude, it was outrageous. Yeah? It was just like, it was, it was basically a riot. Oh wow. Like an actual riot. They were like jumping on cars and shit because there's just so many people and people just started going crazy. That's stupid. It's like, man, <laughs> they have to call a call. Oh, they, they have to do a curfew. Really? I think it was like a midnight curfew because it's out of control. That's wild, right? My goodness. So yeah, Miami's like a little too crazy. Yeah, I kind of agree. It's I thought just like partying, but it's good. Yeah, it's gonna go vacation. I don't know if you want to live there. No. Plus the traffic. And the cost. Yeah. There. Can you always be growing something there? Oh, I think so, yeah. That's good. It's, it's always sunny and hot. The only thing I'd have to see is how bad, like, hurricane season is. Yeah, I guess that's a real it's issue. It's like wild. So I said, it's like, oh my god, all these properties in a hurricane gets <laughs> What the hell? They're calling my insurance company. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I'm working there. I'm like, hey, like, oh, actually, there's this clause. Yeah, it's an act of God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 Scammer boy. <laughs> I, 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 lo- I love what insurance is. It's like, it's a platform meant to help you when you're in trouble, but they try to find any way to not help you. Yeah. It's so stupid. Oh, like, bro, I felt so bad for this guy at work. Uh, yeah. uh, he didn't have any sort of backup coverage. Uh, and uh, we wrote the policy and he signed off and everything. Or no, he didn't sign off on it. Basically, my buddy, grandfather the book mm-hmm. and like the guy didn't have sewer backup coverage and he called my friend and he's like oh hey man like i just had a big flood in my basin from a sewer backup do i have any coverage my buddy had to tell him no oh shit. yeah so he buddy probably had like probably i'm guessing him like twenty thousand dollars or thirty thousand yeah. dollars worth of damage so she's the beast that he's responsible for that's awful oh, eh? God. it's crazy that's so shit yeah man. so I think one of the worst probably jobs, like, more, not, well, I guess a bit morally too, but I'm sure it would just feel bad being an insurance adjuster and like trying to like, you know, like people like expect to get certain things from you, but you're like kind of told by your company to give them as little as humanly possible, yeah, you know? And, but but they, well, honestly, there are dumb asses though. Like there's this dumb lady, I forget what happened. I think it was something like her window got broken and she wanted the whole car replaced or something. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was yeah. That's not a perfect example, but it was something like that where it was just a little thing on her car. She's like, yeah. she replaced the whole car. It's like, yeah. no, no shit, you shouldn't replace yeah. the whole car. But her argument is, well, the, the cell value is going to go down. It's like, well, how do you think it's fair that you break one fucking part of your vehicle, you get, you get a whole a whole new car, like yeah. something that's fixable, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. So I'm sure that insurance adjuster is like, well, that's fun, right? Like, oh yeah, there's like people that are out there that genuinely don't care if they rip you off. Oh no, exactly. 
it sucks because like I kind of feel like we live in a world that can kind of encourage it because like yeah. genuinely helping you probably means that it could affect the company's income. Oh, like so. profit, yeah. yeah, it sucks, man. I kind of wish we lived in a world where people like genuinely were out to help each other, but there's just kind of this big facade. You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, hey, it'll be all nice to you and stuff, but when you're actually in a jam, yeah. I'm gonna be only as nice to you as I need to be. It'll be nice to you the first time, I don't yeah. know. Or it's the worst you first have that you try to contact them and they just never answer. Yeah. <laughs> So overrated. Blizzard, blizzards from uh, DQ. Man, you just go around no. and ice cream. Bro, my mom and my sister yesterday. I guess it was buy one, get one for a dollar. Yeah. So they drove what to Kings. What is it? Like San Diego McClure? Similar. Yeah. It was like a Reese's Oh, so like Kingsville. <laughs> yeah, so they drove to Kingsville to buy it. I'm like, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> Try to melt it all in It was, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, I'm just like, man. This is not worth it. No, like, it wasn't. I'd rather eat it before you because the, 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 the ice cream is so much more thick. I didn't even finish it, it's so much oh. rich. But <laughs> yeah. bro, they're like six bucks each. It's crazy, yeah. It's like they're like this big, but it's really thick. I think I think DQ for that is just super overrated though. Yeah. Like I take a I I'll, I'll take a McFlurry over that any day of the week, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, flurries are just perfect. Like, oh, yeah, really, really, really. When it comes to ice cream, the ice cream's like great and like... What's your favorite flavor of a McFlurry? Oh, sorry? What's your favorite flavor of a McFlurry? I I'm boring. Like, I think I've been eating Smarties McFlurry since I was a little kid. Yeah. You know was really good when they had it? M&M's. I don't know if they still do M&M's. Oh, McFlurry's oh, yeah. kind of dope. What's yours? Like, do you like Oreo or something? Mm -hmm. Do you eat Oreo or the Score one? Or yeah, Oreo, yeah, it's good too. Score's good. Roll ones are good too. Oh, we should try them all. One I don't like that much is, uh... Oh, sorry, I'm still gas. Um, what is it, uh... The Cadbury egg ones? I don't like them that much. Oh, okay. I like Cadbury eggs, but I don't know why. Like, with ice cream, it's a little bit too sweet. Uh, okay, yeah. It's like the, you know the Cadbury cream eggs? Yeah. It's like that in McFlurry. Yeah, it's probably too much. Yeah. It's good, but it's just like, man, like, Yeah, they are wildly good. I think it's kind of cool about the EA job too. It would only be like the school hours. So like, yeah. I worked at a high school. It's only what, 8 to, eight to 2? Oh yeah, it's 2.30 or whatever. So that's not bad. That's nice, yeah. How many hours is that? Like 6 something? Uh, I think it's six. Yeah, so it only works like 6 and a half hours a day and then you get a lunch too? Yeah, 2. Or 36. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I mean, 6 and a half. Yeah, so you're yeah, not that's nice. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And you get you like don't work super early, and you don't like have to, you don't leave super early. <laughs> that's a plus. Yeah. The thing I'm thinking though, even if I do. Uh, just make it a little supply list for a bit. I hope I make as much or more money than I'm making now. I'm guessing I would. Yeah. If the hourly is the same. Yeah. I just don't know if I'm gonna always get like 30, 35 hours, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Yeah, I wonder. 
Maybe I get random days off so I can lay down and rot. Mm. <laughs> I think it takes about that too, no working on the weekends is kind of sweet. Yeah. That's why I was worried about the bank. Like, the bank would be bad, but if you could work the occasional freaking Saturday, that would kind of suck. Yeah. It's everybody's like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna leave for, for uh, Korean Band at 12 o'clock uh, on Saturday. Do you wanna come, Blake? I'm like, I can't. You know, work? Yeah. Well, these are gonna work out at like three or something. Yeah. <laughs> Early workout boy. <laughs> Well, it depends where I, uh, where yeah, my placement's at. If I'm in Windsor, then it's gonna be a 40 minute drive, but. Yeah. That'd be crazy, though. My dad's a teacher, my mom was a, or my dad was a teacher, my mom was a teacher, yeah. my sister's a teacher. Yeah. I'm a teacher, school too. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, that's something I'm curious about. Oh shit, that's a video. Oh, shit. I'm good. My, uh, I guess my brother's movie's gonna come out soon, so that's oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited to nice. see that on Netflix or something. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Is he gonna do more of that? Yeah, he, I really respect him. He's got a lot more drive than I do. Because he does his, like, yeah. he works full time, but he also kind of works on those projects a lot of his free time as oh, well. Nice. So. That's awesome to have. Well, that I think he really wants to do, but... Yeah, because, like, if he just keeps working at it, it can probably just blow up. Yeah, and I think, I think he's got, their, like, getting decent connections and stuff like that, so... Yeah. That'd be a really cool industry to, to make it in. Yeah, it does be like... Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Pretty Good creative good. outlet. Yeah. Teeth properly. You know, they're all going to hug the kids. <laughs> Don't end up like me, 28 with braces. <laughs> I just can't wait to get it figured out because, like, I don't know. Well, it just kind of, it's like, it is a bit anxiety inducing, you know, like going yeah, starting like fresh and stuff like that, but it is what it is. Sure. I think at the same time, it's just kind of like something that's going to push me forward rather than save something that's safe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, who knows, maybe I could do the job I'm doing now, but then I look back on life and I'm like 40 and, you and I'm like, well, yeah. crap, now i only got like 15 more years to work now, retire or something. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. Where this, like if I start now, I still probably get like a solid 30 or 25 or 30 years in. Yeah, you can. It's a little late, but whatever. It's only like three or four years late. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, I'm speaking to the man, too. 
what my sister's. My sister probably started doing it here when she's 23. Oh, yeah. So she probably could uh, retire when she's like 53 if you wanted to retire early. Yeah. So that's not bad. Do you have to be full time for that to start? Or you I, don't, I don't know how it works. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'll ask her. So I don't know if my dad, like, I don't know what my dad's been full time for. Yeah. I think he started when he was like 24, 25. <laughs> Yeah. And then, uh, I think I'm gonna be happier in the long run. The only thing I did is a little, a little worrying is like being on the supply list kind of sucks because like you don't know if you're gonna work every day. Yeah. And like they could, they, they, they can they call you from eight o'clock, like from until eight p.m. They can call you, and then before that, oh. from six o'clock to eight o'clock, they can call you still. So I probably have to go to bed early, wake up at six, be like. Phone call? Oh, phone call? Yeah. Phone call? Yeah. And then not. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, that's kind of sucks. But you know what, man? Maybe I'll get in a good routine. I'll go yeah. to bed at a reasonable time. I'll say I'll start going to bed at 10, waking up early. And then, like, you know, meditate, shower, do whatever. And then, like, if I get a call, cool. If not, whatever. It's a good start to my day. Yeah. I don't know. You still that. But it does suck the uncertainty. And then going to different schools and stuff like that. But the thing that is kind of good in a way. I think the expectations are a little bit lower of you as a supplier. Yeah, because like yeah. right you don't really know the routine of all the kids, so typically mm -hmm. they'll give you the kids that are a bit easier to deal with. Yeah, like they're not going to give you like the like the kids that are going to like you know be very exceptionally hard to yeah. to handle. So, so that's yeah, kind of good in a way too, true. right? That's true. Because yeah, you wouldn't want to give like a kid that's like super oh, violent and like you know and like it's his random guy. exactly. It's like here you go, Blake. Like oh man. I just wish I didn't have to work. <laughs> <sighs> I'm, I'm pretty weak, man. Shit. Oh, shit, man. I think one thing that's gonna be hard to do though is like get a good balance of being productive but also now like making it like out over stressing about it. Yeah. Like trying to balance like relaxation with still uh, actively seeking out for something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it'll probably just be like, you know, the next two weeks of you know, trying really hard. Yeah. But it's gonna be worth it. Yeah. Be fun. Fun. yeah. You're not working at summer, it's saying like, you just take the severance package, you know? Oh, absolutely. That's like my don't. That's just a waste. Yeah. I get this money for me to like- It's nothing gain yeah. if you don't take it. Or this, like I get free money to kind of look for a job, you know what yeah. I mean?
Whatever. Hey guys, I'm 1028. See ya.